Hi everyone, Vicki Waco back here again with another You Are Not Alone video resource. As a reminder, we are in the middle of our five week series all about the top five ways childhood trauma can affect a young adult. And we're on number three, which is struggle with relationships. So again, we're talking about the first decade of our lives, that one to 10, zero to 10 really age range, and how that can affect those in their late teens, early 20s, and into their 30s. And this one, I think it's probably one of the most ones that the most common ones you'll see outwardly, which is because when you have lived through traumatic experiences or had not really great examples of proper relationships or been entwined with unproper relationships, it affects how you interact with everyone else. Remember, the things we learned during that first decade of life is so much the building blocks for everything else that comes after that. So what does this look like in young adults? Well, it can be a multitude of different things. It could be just the really not having a good ability to form authentic relationships, be, just be due to the fact that they might have not been able to connect authentically with people at an early age or seen authentic relationships modeled for them. So for example, you can think of if they, if they were seeing abuse in the household that is not an authentic relationship to model after the other thing you'll see is insecure attachment which is the idea that you might be so scared of someone leaving you and now this was a big thing for me was this fear of people leaving me because the caregivers were constantly in and out of my life on this like rotating revolving door basis so often that having this ability to attach to someone, I was always scared they were going to leave me. So you'll see that a lot. Also, you'll see a lot higher levels of anxiety, like anxious attachment, very similar, right? Where you just need to know where that person is at all times. Or it might appear as just not being able to set proper boundaries because none of those were ever set for you. Another way to think about this is just that interpersonal communication skills that are needed, right, to build those authentic bonds. Many of them might be missing. One of my classic examples is no one ever said they were sorry in my life. So when I would, I had to learn the process of asking for forgiveness and also receiving forgiveness from people. Now, again, these are all skills you can learn. If you know you're struggling in a certain area, you can identify it. Those are things you can work on with a therapist, with a counselor, with coaches to really help you build up those skills so that you can also have a happy, healthy, and whole life. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, share, do all the things, and I will see you back next week as we delve into the fourth most common ways that childhood trauma affects a young adult. Bye for now.